domination. Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Josh, but more you know me as Raunchy Ram, and me even more of you don't know me at all. This is my first Call of Duty gameplay I've ever uploaded to my channel. I'm not an always on kind of I'm not an always recording kind of person, so I got this swarm and I had to go back to theater mode to record it. Don't worry, you aren't really missing out on anything funny. No one was talking. But this game surprised me a lot as I wasn't expecting to do very well. It was just a, one of those random public games, wasn't even playing with friends, and I threw on Visa, EMP, and Swarm as a joke because I figured I wasn't going to get them. Um, well, the loadout, what, the loadout I used for the game was, uh, god, I gotta stop saying um, I sound like a, like a yokel or a hick or something. I used the AN-94 with quick draw handle, suppressor, black jacket, uh, perk 1 greed with ghost, perk 2 toughness, perk 3 dead silence with perk 3 greed extreme conditioning. I kinda had this whole left side controlled by myself my team was spending most of their time in the center grabbing B as as they should be. That's the way you want to play this map is that you want to control B but you also want to control the left side and the right side. The left side really doesn't have that many entryways besides the back so not that many people go back there. It's a good place for you to uh, kinda hide out but also be able to control their spawn and keep them from going towards the center if you play right. The uh, right side, though, the reason I kept avoiding it the whole time is because I don't like that side. It's too... Uh, when I spawn on this side of the map, it's too long of a sight line. There's too many people over there with snipers, uh, single-shot rifles, all kinds of stuff. Nasty stuff that I can't really do anything about with an automatic from that far. So I stuck around controlling just the side. Wow, that was a lucky kill. I didn't realize how lucky of a kill that was until I just looked at it. Firing from the hip sprang and then got that headshot. Uh, damn it, there I go saying uh again. Another lucky headshot. I kind of get used to like getting really close to my kill streaks and then getting just smothered with a pillow in my hospital bed so to speak kind of a vivid description for that situation but yeah I usually get smothered towards the end like right before I get it it's like nope fuck you Josh no kill streak losing bravo losing bravo the first half was kinda slow but the last half of the game is also really slow. The first half is slow because I'm kind of just camping around, waiting for things to line up, hoping that I can, you know, get the drop on them, or even get a uh, pseudo head glitch. A pseudo head glitch is where, like, you're not hiding behind a trash can, but the rest of the terrain around you gives you a sort of false head glitch. There's a lot of situation. There's a lot of points in this gameplay where I just, I should have died. I should have flat out died and lost my streak. Like the situation just a few seconds ago before this part, I should have, I should have died from that guy. If he was paying attention or he turned that corner a little sooner, he would have killed me from far away. That guy, if he wasn't using a sniper, he should have killed me. That's another reason. I can understand using a sniper rifle for fun and stuff like that. Uh, I enjoy quick scoping every now and then, but I really don't use it as a practical means of playing the game. People get trick shots and stuff like that, but I've never gotten a trick shot. That was my first mistake right there. This gameplay could have been a lot better if I didn't use that VSAT as soon as I got it. You want to keep your VSAT until you get the EMP and then use them at the same time. This makes it so that the enemy can't see their UAV or use a lot of their uh, 
they can't use any of their kill streaks actually, leaving them completely vulnerable. And then you using the VSAT. Everyone knows the VSAT lets you see which fa direction they're facing. Blah blah blah. But you want to use the orbital VSAT at the same time as the EMP so that you can see them, but they can't see you. Uh, there is some benefit though to using it, using the two separately, using the VSAT than the EMP. The VSAT just gives you that 30 seconds of time that you're completely aware of where they're at, where they're going, what they're doing. And then the EMP gives you another 30 seconds of time like that they can't see you. So there is some advantage to separating them apart, but the majority of the time I do like to use those two together to create like a suppression effect. RCXD inbound. B locked down. When I realized wow, I'm actually gonna get a swarm, aren't I? I got really campy and really scared, really jumpy. I was freaking out, my I kept sh shouting to Robbie, my uh, fiance. Yeah, it's a dude. Um, kept shouting, "Oh my God, Robbie! Oh my God! I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get a swarm! I'm gonna get a swarm! I'm gonna die! I'm having a heart attack." My average kill streaks don't go over ten on a good day. If I was playing like Modern Warfare 2, I'd be getting like three, then dying immediately. But uh, it's just as of lately, it feels like I've been getting a lot better at COD. Like all the stuff that I've been watching and learning has actually started to sink in. This is a good spot right here to uh, keep control of the spawns. Is because if you sit in that tunnel, they'll keep spawning in their spawn right there. Because the area to the left of you is not visible. So they can still spawn there. So as long as the most as most of your team is in the middle or to closer to their spawn, they'll keep spawning to the left of, to the left of you right in that corner and you can just keep controlling them. Friendly care package inbound. Swarm on standby. There's the swarm. Friendly swarm inbound. Uh I'm surprised I didn't just stop, drop my controller and start bawling. I don't know why I got so excited when I got it, but I wish I recorded it live, because I shouldn't have been acting that way. You should never be a full-grown man acting that way. That's a thing that annoyed me right there, is I would have died one less time if that guy's body didn't glitch out right there. The swarm came in, hit him, and I died from getting hit by my own swarm. It was like frozen in running man stance. Anyway, uh, I'll let you guys soak in the rest of the gameplay, but... Uh, Thanks to those of you who are watching. As for those of you who didn't watch me, well, you can't hear me, so screw you. Uh, seriously, though, thanks for watching me, you guys. I uh, appreciate the views. I pre appreciate everything you guys do for me. Even those of you guys who don't know me that well, I'm a very appreciative guy when it comes to my viewers and stuff like that. Uh, that kind of just sounded like a plea for, hey, watch me. I didn't mean to make it come across like that. Why am I still talking? I said I was going to let you enjoy the gameplay. Nope, too late. Gameplay's over. Uh, thanks for watching, you guys. Bye.